Now here's our reporter, Laura Windsor, with a report on robots in the operating room. Roger, robots in the operating room are truly a sign of the new millennium. Dr. Brian Hummel of Lee Memorial Health System tells us how the Da Vinci robotic system is improving surgical outcomes. One of the uh, kind of exciting things about surgery and medicine in general is the advances that have been made. We're fortunate now that we've uh, recently been able to acquire a Da Vinci, a robotic system that uh, we feel is really going to provide uh, an extra level of expertise and, and perhaps uh, a, a true advantage in terms of healing and, and complication rates to our patients. The, the robot's interesting in that it's, it, it's a really an integration and interaction between uh, surgeons and surgeon's assistants. The assistants stand at the bedside uh, switching out uh, devices and instruments to the robotic arms while the surgeon himself is sitting at a console uh, in our particular instance, we sit in the room with the console. Uh, it can be done elsewhere. Um, and do the manipulations of the hands, the arms, if you will, of the robot through that console. How does Da Vinci help the surgeon? I think the real advantage to the robot is, one, uh, you get the visualization that is provided from the camera. It's, it's truly a 3D camera. And you see things much clearer, in it, and you can move the camera around as opposed to being at, at the patient's bedside. The other thing is that the, uh, the mobility of the arms and the wrist uh, with the robot goes 360 degrees, unlike a human hand, and obviously there's no tremor. The, the only real drawback is that there's no tactile feedback. There's no sensation to the surgeon's hands of how tight, uh, how much tension he's putting on something, and that comes with training. Healing is uh, accelerated. You're not having a major uh, entry point through a breastbone, say for a cardiac procedure, um, and they're much smaller sites, uh, reduced risk of an infection. Um, so that's, that's a distinct advantage. So we think that accelerated healing, uh, much earlier mobility of the patient after surgery is an important aspect. Um, and obviously we think uh, ultimately we might be able to do these cases better Again, as I mentioned, the range of motion at the wrist and the visualization is improved over what we can actually see uh, from the bedside. What is it like for the surgeon? Well, as a surgeon, it's intimidating to think that uh, everything I heretofore had done, I'm now stepping back and getting farther away from uh, the patient. But uh, it, it's been exciting, and I think ultimately, uh, as we identify the patients and in our skill levels, our skill sets improve as a team, uh, we're going to provide something that the patients uh, uh, will be tremendously beneficial to. Dr. Hummel told me what he sees in the future. If we look down the road five or ten years from now, we're going to find the, the cases, the types of cases being done with robotically assisted uh, surgeons or computer assisted surgeons is going to be expanded. I think we're just now at the precipice of, of all the things that we can see and do and the technology is, is changing at light speed. It really is amazing. Even the first generation of a robot uh, several years ago uh, is far exceeded today, and that's uh, been a period of four years, and, and exciting things have happened. I can only imagine what four or five or ten more years will bring. Dr. Hummel told us he feels the future is definitely here. He said he has yet to have a patient who is unwilling to have the robot assist in the surgery. For the American Health Journal, I'm Laura Windsor.